Hey crawlers, MC Crawl here. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm still sick, but I do have a, uh, a special little uh, project I was working on today. Um, this project here is an item uh, uh, item lock. Um, so I'll have the official name in the description. I'm sick right now, so I just <laughs> I want to hurry up and get this recorded. Uh, but basically, guys, uh, how this works is, depending on the items that you put in here, um, it will open the door. So, yeah, uh, if I were to put just some random random crap in here, some, I don't know, some of that, some of this, whatever, uh, the door will not open. Will not open. But if I put the right stuff in here, let me go ahead and just move this out of here. If I put the right stuff in here, an iron bar and a diamond the door will open you come in here and that pressure plate will close the door and I click on this and of course I can get on through no problem and then I'm stuck I can't get back in again uh, okay guys so this is just a concept and a trap chest? yeah it's a trap chest buddy that's right um, open that door with the trap chest I did I did see diamond iron and it opens up the door see very cool huh yeah very cool all right guys so I'm gonna show you how this works all right guys so I cleared it up a little bit so you guys can see the redstone just a little bit better um, one thing I forgot to mention that if you put items in this chest uh, and it's not say the items that you uh, you were thinking say I put a trap chest in there that's not the item that goes in there uh, all those items will then be pushed off into this chest over here. You can see I have trap chest, chest, I had, uh, ignore that, um, the dirt, and that. Okay, so, uh, so if anybody, like, if you do have this installed at your house and you have a code to, or a price to get in and someone doesn't know the price, then you get to keep all the good stuff. So, that's really cool. Um, now, uh, all the items that, uh, after... After the items are put in and sent through, say your your you just put your iron and you put your gold in there, they're all gonna come down here into this chest right here, which actually I need to remove that uh, right here. So there's your diamond, there's your iron. Um, now how this works, guys, is it works on the basic principle of these hoppers. Um, hoppers will prioritize moving down as opposed to in the direction that they're facing. Notice this one faces left. If I had a hopper facing uh, or underneath it, it would want to drag underneath it before it would want to drag left. So in that case, we can create uh, hop. We can create filters. These are the filters. So now any any item that is a um, uh, excuse me uh, any item that is. Uh, that you want as a filter you just set in here and then only that item will fall into the hoppers so uh, and then I you can see I have my item hoppers here and this is actually not set right and three right there there we go I was doing some messing around and <laughs> I ended up getting more okay so uh, once the items that uh, meet the quoted threshold which in this case is 22 17 18 19 20 21 so if I add one more in here 22 then this uh, comparator will turn on and notice that one right here at 17 when that one hits 22 it will also turn on then we come up here basically this uses it's sort of like an AND gate both of them have to be turned on in order for this torch to be turned on and then that is what powers our door uh, now, in the same process, uh, we need a system to remove the items when they're done. So let's, you know, let's go over here. Um, we've already got one iron block, so we just need a single diamond block in there. So we'll go in here, we'll place our single diamond block. That's going to open up our door. Uh, now, two things we need to do after this. One, we have to be able to shut this door again. And two, uh, we need to take out one item 
from each one of these so that we can reset this so we can reset the uh, uh, the chest lock um, so to do that uh, basically I have uh, another AND gate down here one set to this wire uh, which is already an AND gate of or actually it's an, technically an OR gate but whatever uh, of, of this item down here so basically when this when these are both turned off this line is turned on and uh, we want it to be off in order for that chest uh, or that and whatever it's called powered rail to be powered to move this card on uh, but in the same aspect uh, right here this also needs to be turned on so we have to step on this pressure plate plus this uh, this line right here needs to be uh, depowered in order for it to work so basically the door needs to be open in order for this to run around and collect the items if the door wasn't open then technically we don't have enough items and it would just be sucking out more items and we don't want that so stepping on the pressure plate will uh, trigger this and gate and then this minecart right here will then take a little flying swoop through here and as it goes by it's at just enough speed to pick up one item from both the hoppers and if I step on this pressure plate you can see that it just did its little whirly pass and you can see there's 17 in there now and 17 in that one right there so and now uh, there is a hopper right here into a chest so we should see some diamonds and some ingots so that's how it works guys um, pretty simple easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys that's it for this video uh, Really appreciate you guys watching. Like it if you like the video. Uh, and as I always, uh, keep crawling. And don't get sick. Keep